Hello all, uh, this is Mohammed Hanif from RGOKT Basar. Once again, welcomes you to this lab session on subject uh, digital signal processing. So in the uh, last three sessions, we have seen that how we can uh, work on simple generation of sine wave and then we have uh, successfully able to generate the musical tone and then we have worked on uh, linear convolution. Now, today we will be seeing that how we can uh, do a simple filter, a simple low pass filter to start with. Okay. So, for that one, once again, starting with a CLC, clear all, close all, and then first, as usual, we need to define a sampling frequency. Sampling frequency and then a TS is equals to one upon FS. Okay, and then NTS is equals to zero colon TS to one. Okay, so basic idea here is to uh, do filter. So we'll be uh, taking two signals as x1 and x2 and then we'll convolute with one impulse response of low pass filter and here we must know the uh, filter coefficients of low pass filter and then we can use those uh, elements and then we could uh, we can use those elements to do the convolution with sig our uh, input signal okay so here first we try to generate a two uh, different signals so let's say f1 so here input enter a first frequency okay and then second so we'll copy this here and paste it and change the name as f2 and then say is as it is as second frequency okay and now so we have to know the filter coefficients of low pass filter so for that one so uh, we know that h of z is given as 1 plus z upon minus 1 and then so here it will be 2 so this is a, a filter uh, in z transform so if you calculate this and then we are going to get uh, capital H absolute value of capital H e power j omega as cos of omega by 2 okay so from this if you solve this one we are going to get a plus half and plus half two halves will be available in filter coefficients so we have we are going to use those things in our matter problem so defining those as h is equals to 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 okay now defining the first sequence uh, so the first signal so cos 2 into phi into f into t so uh, instead of t actually it is n t f right this is the first signal generation and copying the same and pasting here and changing it with to x2 and this time so here we have to write f1 and this will be our f2 okay 
So now we have been able to successfully generate the two signals. Next, we have to do the convolution. So for that one, we'll take y1 as y and b, the convolution between h and x1. And y2 is equals to convolution between h and x1. Now, after convolution with these filter coefficients, as these filter coefficients defining the low pass filter, we can see that below the cutoff frequency, the if the frequency is uh, like near the cutoff frequency or under the low, uh, low pass frequency band, then the signal uh, amplitude will be remain same or else it will be reduced. So here the amplitude is A. So normally we have not defined the A, so we'll take that as a one. So here also we have defined as a one. So in the output after uh, filter, we can see that uh, these, uh, frequency amplitudes will be reduced. So whichever frequency is uh, having higher value, that will be having a less amplitude compared to the uh, signal which is having a low frequency. So here we'll try to define F1 as a low frequency and F2 as higher frequency. And then we, we easily compare it with, okay? So, so first we'll define uh, taking us one, sequence or already as is mentioned here so we'll try to plot so i'm plotting the first signal only so plot let will go with n t s comma x1 okay so we'll plot this first so we are running the program so sampling frequency, let's go with 4000. And as the sampling frequency is 4000, we are restricted to reuse the input frequencies, not more than 2000. So first I am taking as 500, another is as 1000. So this will be our 500 signal frequency, okay? So you will be having a 500 sine waves here. And you can see that the amplitude is one, okay? So, so as we are not interested in this complete frequency band, we are interested only in amplitude. So we can reduce the sequence here. So what we can do is, so we'll define N1 as zero Ts. And let's, we'll define only five cycles in the F1. So we'll say five divided by F1, okay? So we're going to get only five seconds and then taking the length so let's say l1 is equals to length of this n1 okay and copying the same thing and pasting here and then mentioning is that n2 so this will be again we are interested to have only five seconds so this will be n2 and then this will be l2 okay now saying figure one so figure one so let's we'll try to draw uh, plots one plot for x1 another plot for x2 and then y1 plot and then y2 plot okay so already we have seen that how we can uh, divide a, a this plot window into a subplots so using that subplot so as we do need uh, four plots so say four rows one column and the first one so let's say it is plot so instead of nts we'll write n1 okay n1 and then this one will be x1 and so if you draw the x1 so here the length will be will not be matched so we have to reduce the length also here so how we can do that so x of and then say up to length of l1 okay so and plot this is okay and say we'll keep that x label for this x label will be time in seconds 
and then y label will be amplitude and then title title will be the first signal x1 right and we'll copy this from up to here and now we'll paste it and say subplot this is 2 and instead of n1 is okay instead of x1 we we'll say y1 and say this will be filtered output output for first signal x1 okay and you can say input output or first signal that's it and once again we paste it and this time we'll change it to 3 and say instead of n1 we'll take n2 okay so this will be n2 and this will be x2 and this will be l2 and this will be our title so will be second signal right second signal and this will be x2 okay so we'll copy this one and paste it and then we'll say the subplot to 4 and this will be instead of x2 it will be y2 and remaining same remains same and this will be filtered output for second signal x2 right so we'll run this enter the first frequency a sampling frequency so as it is 4000 and 500 and 1000 so if after running this program we must to see that the 500 signal amplitude will be greater than the 1000 okay so here you can see that the first signal x1 so it is uh, you can see the amplitude is 1 and this is filtered output of first signal x1 so this will be y1 now you can see the data here and you can check the output so the data is saying that it is a 0.8 volt similarly it is uh, though it is uh, looking like a, a triangular wave but it's not a triangular it is a sine wave only as we have uh, reduced the number of cycles and it's the interpolation of those points and here in the plotting in the matlab will join those points so that's why it is uh, looking like a triangular okay and here you can see that amplitude of the uh, second signal is also one but amplitude of second filter output is 0.5 and the first output signal amplitude is 0.8 and then the second output signal is 0.5 so you can easily understand that the point 0.85 is greater so to have a better understanding on this one uh, we have to uh, write a, a digital frequency so let's go with that one uh, so as i said that we have seen here so we have to write cos omega by 2 and that absolute value we have to calculate and if we draw the uh, uh, graph for this one we'll under we'll have one uh, low pass filter uh, output okay so we'll uh, write that also and then we'll compare with our so first uh, defining omega so omega say let 0 1 to uh, point zero 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 one uh, zero zero one and then multiply it with phi and then goes up to phi okay so this is omega so digital frequency or you can say digital frequency and uh, next we have to define capital h capital h we have seen that uh, absolute value of cos omega by 2 right and then uh, defining a small frequency h is equals to in terms of digital frequency so omega into fs right by 
to y so into phi okay now drawing the plot so before plotting we say figure 2 we'll try to separate the, the another plot for that one so plot now f comma capital h right now we run this so once again sampling frequency 4000 and then 500 and 1000 so this is our uh, low frequency or a low pass filter frequency model okay now, now we will compare with the values we take, we take the data point here and we place it here So x will drag it till 500 okay so this is 500 so here 500 is as having a 0.9236 so here we'll take the data point and here we'll compare with the same thing it is nearly 0.9 so as i earlier said that uh, these values are a reduced one and uh, interpolation values might be missed that 0.9 value so that's why it is displaying like this so actually these are uh, both are same okay and here and for thousand frequency this is a thousand frequency and the data is 0.5 so here we'll go to thousand So here we can see the thousand is point seven zero seven. Okay, so it is nearly that same. Once again, we might miss that point because of this uh, less uh, divisions in our output. Okay, and so this is the low pass filter. Similarly, we can. Uh, make a change a small change in this program and make it as a high pass filter only difference will be after calculating this here instead of this if you take minus here okay and then do the calculation here the cost will be replaced with sine omega by 2 and the same thing we have to do the changes here so instead of a half and half we have to just write minus here and then one more change we have to do is that uh, this absolute value instead of cos we have to just write sign here now we can run the same program and sampling frequency 4000 and 500 another is let 1000 now you can see that uh, this is high pass filter output so here this is the high pass filter output now we can uh, measure the outputs as i said we will get different values okay hope you understand this this is just simple filter okay uh, later in, in later sessions we will try to do uh, fir low pass we try to design a uh, fir low pass filter okay uh, meet you in next video thank you